everybody and welcome back to another how to Django tutorial in today's tutorial we're gonna go ahead and build our template views um, for our our template detail view I should say for our class base and function based detail view all right uh, before we can do that if you think about how are we gonna get to this um, to this detail view we can't just go ahead and type in a URL we could but that would be really tedious and annoying and we probably wouldn't get many visitors to our web app so what we need to do is create a link so I'm going to show you how to create a link in Django and hook it into our get object 404 to return an object all right so let's get started let's get in first create an HTML uh, hyperlink all right so they look like something like this all right and close it out and close it out there we go all right so we got a hyperlink and obviously we need to provide a URL in here so how do we create a URL in Django uh, first off we're gonna need our curly brace and our percent percentage symbol and then another percentage symbol and a curly brace and then we're gonna use uh, a word called URL all right so this indicates what type of template um tag that we're using in django so it in indicates to django what type of template tag we're using next thing is going to be a string all right so inside this string it's going to take two things where's the url located so which directory is it in because we got blog and we got example right now they both hold url.py files all right the second um Bit of information we're going to pass is where or what's the name of the URL if you remember back in our blogs.urls we provided names for example our post list view which is a class based view uh, has a name blog underscore list blog uh, underscore view right correct so to do this we're going to first say hey go to our blog directory and then inside our blog.urls file our yeah, urls.py file just confused myself there for a second in there we want to find the name of a uh, url so we're going to go and look and see what we named it i clicked on the wrong one there and we named it blog detail view so we're going to focus on the class base view first actually yeah we'll just focus on the class base view for now um so where the heck was i there we are all right so and then i forgot what i called it blog detail view all right so blog underscore detail underscore view all right so we're going in the blog directory into the well when we indicate the blog directory it's going to look for the urls.py file so it's going to go into the urls.py file and then it's going to look for a um a view or a url called blog detail view all right so while we're in this blog.url detail view and I just want to change this because it drives me nuts when I use double quotes in a URL because it gets all funky color. It still works, but it gets funky color. Anyhow, uh, the blog detail view. So it's going to search for that. It's going to come down, find it right here, and then it's going to go look at our uh, raw string right here and say, oh, it requires a variable. All right. So in here, we need to pass the variable as an argument to our URL. All right. So in here, we're going to say slug is equal to, since it's a, a keyword argument, and we're going to say slug is equal to obj dot slug. All right. So we're going to get each object's uh, slug. All right. So let's go ahead and I already have my interpreter running. Or not my interpreter my server I'm gonna refresh and I should have a link here all right now if I click on this I'm gonna get an error because the template does not exist it says post underscore detail dot HTML doesn't exist okay because we haven't created it yet and that's today's tutorial so let's go ahead and create that inside your templates uh, directory inside your blog directory create a new file and we're gonna call this file post post detail dot py nope dot html we're doing html today all right so in here we're going to do the same thing that we did basically uh with the post list 
index.html file. You can copy that if you like. I'm going to type it out real quick just to recover things once my All right, sorry about that. I couldn't click on the screen. But uh, anyway, let's go ahead and I'm just going to type it out real quick. We're going to create a new template. So first things first, we need to extends, extends uh, base.html. So base.html like that. All right. And you know what I want to do? I'm going to introduce two more blocks. The first one's going to be our SEO title. So we're going to say block SEO underscore title. Because if you remember back when we created our models, we actually, where's models? Our posts have SEO title and SEO description. All right. So we want to pass them on so we can link them in and have SEO uh, benefits from it. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and put in um, M block here. And then we're going to do uh, another block here for our SEO description. So block. SEO description like that and then we're going to end our block like that and then we're going to create our block content so block content down here and end block all pretty simple stuff that we saw before but since we now added in SEO title and SEO description, we need to go ahead and add them into our uh, base.html. All right, so in base.html, let's go ahead and first off, let's take out blog right here and let's put in uh, block, uh, block SEO title, I believe I called it, and block like that. And then we're going to need our SEO description. So that goes into meta tag. So that's going to be uh, meta name is equal to description. Uh, and then content is equal to our block. So we're going to put in block SEO description like that. And then and block just like that all right and close out our carrot so there we go we now we're able to pass in our seo description and our seo title all right um now we got our block content sweet so back to post detail in here uh to get the information in the class base view uh django uses the context variable object or objects object object it's object with no s not plural all right so to do this we're going to first get our title so we'll create an h1 tag for our title and then our double curly brace which indicates a variable and then object dot title all right so we're getting the object the actual object itself and then the title all right and then um, let's just go and put category in here. So we'll do uh, object dot category like that. And the last one is our body. We're not going to put that in a P tag because eventually I'm going to show you how to put a, some kind of editor in our um, body of our text, uh, like a tiny mice MC, whatever they call it. All right. So we'll do object dot body. All right, and that should be all good. Let's go back into our browser and refresh. There we go, intro to Python, our categories Python, and this is an intro. Pretty cool, right? All right, so that was for the class-based view. Um, in most of our tutorials, we're gonna be focusing on function-based views, so I'm gonna start making our transition to that because there's so much I wanna show you guys. And class-based views, when we start, modifying them and doing crazy things with them they get a little hairy so i just want us to focus on function based views if you guys want to use class based views and try to figure out how to do it good great but um for learning purposes i think the function based view is going to be the way to go so with that being said we're going to go ahead and change some things around here first off 
let's go to our views real quick and this is what we're going to be focusing on here um, we got post detail that HTML so that's the same as the one we just created up there but if you notice we have a different um, context variable it's called post all right so let's go to our URL or actually to our post list real quick I need to look at our URLs block blog details what we called that view so let's go into our post list and all we're gonna do is take this off all right now if you go and refresh your browser here we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get another template does not exist all right um does exist I don't know why it's doing that but anyway mine says it doesn't exist up top uh, that's really interesting there actually so uh, as we were going through this I just realized something I in our URLs we have Oops, let me move the sound a little bit. Uh, we have block, blog detail, blog detail. All right, we got slug and slug. Now, normally you don't write to the same views. Like we got a class-based view and a function-based view displaying the same thing. So when I was sitting here and I was, I was expecting you to get um, an error or nothing shown. Actually, I was expecting nothing to be shown because our context variable change. So we shouldn't have got anything shown here. But what's happening is uh, when Django goes and goes down and looks and it hits blog detail and blog detail, it's going to stop on the first one to find the slug. And it's going to return that view to us. So let's go ahead and just take this view, since I don't want to use classes anyway, and take it out. All right. Now, when I go and refresh the browser here, once my server catches up, which I'm not sure if it has yet. There we go. Now it's doing it. We sh should get nothing. All right. And that's because our context variable changed in post detail. We had object, object, object. This should be post now. Because if you look at our view down here, we need the post. All right. So we should get a blank screen. We should not return anything. But the template exists. So we wouldn't get the template error. So back in our post detail, all right, let's change these to uh, post, these objects to post and post and post like that. All right, bringing this back over and refresh. And there we go, we get intro to Python, Python, this is, is a intro. All right, so that, as you can see, there's really not much difference between the function and the class-based views or the templates that we build for them. It's just the class-based view comes with its own context variables, all right? Um, but we want to use uh, what I'm going to be showing you guys from here on out is we're going to focus on function-based views because I want you guys to see some cool things with Django. Um, and like I said, class-based views do hinder some of those things. So we're just going to focus on the function-based views. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Um, I don't know what we're doing, but I'll see you then.